some years as person we talked last time and uh, about the digging mark and your your um, watermarks uh, and what has happened since then well thank you Bo uh, certainly a great deal uh, that you've probably read some of our announcements with some key retailers but also really one of the most exciting things over the past year has been our involvement with the Holy Grail project so our technology Digimark has been chosen to be the solution provider for Holy Grail as a way to create identities and plastics for greater accuracy in sorting to reduce waste and also increase the amount of high quality recyclants. So actually I have a couple of uh, samples for you here and this is one where actually we've taken a plastic thermoform tray from PACOR, uh, the provider. You see a couple of tiles and I'm not sure on the angle if you can kind of see some of the reflections, but these tiles contain the watermark. And so they'll be read in a recycling facility and properly know how to sort those. If it's multi-layer, for example, then the tile tells the system who's the manufacturer, what's the product, what's the SKU, uh, how many layers, what types of layer, what are the compositions of layer, food versus non-food. In essence, we're giving, again, this digital recycling passport uh, to the objects. We do it in plastics, but also in terms of shrink labels. So in the printed label, we're also able to create the same code. So the plastic may be hidden by the shrink label, but the sleeve informs the system what is underneath the sleeve, but also what's the composition of the sleeve material itself. Mm -hmm. But does this mean that you sort of changed your your business from being in at the retailers and the cash register and all that, going into recycling instead? Uh, it actually expands our business model. <clears throat> so we provide a platform all the way from manufacturing, ensuring that the right labels may be coming together on a shampoo through distribution, through consumer scanning in store or at home, through checkout to make things move faster, and now recycling. So what we say is actually we're providing a platform from birth and manufacturing all the way through rebirth and recycling. So what kind of equipment does the recycler need to be able to read this? Yes, we're working with Tomra sorting systems on that. And basically it's just an add-on module to their existing uh, facility setup. Uh, over time, uh, our cameras and, and lighting will be incorporated into the new shipping units. But for right now, it's a much faster way for a facility to get started. But it will take over the next year for us to fully harden the technology. We'll have to provide the uh, protocols for how to put in plastic molds, how to use our signal. So we have work to do under Holy Grail 2.0, but now that's what we're off to do. And, and uh, does this work also on the black plastic? Oh, absolutely. So one of the challenges with today's near-infrared is that it sees the object, it attempts to make a determination based upon perhaps spectral analysis. We turn the model around where the object itself tells the system what it is. So it's not a sort of a, a look and try to make a determination. Again, it's the object saying, this is who I am, uh, what's my heritage? What was I used for? Uh, virtually unlimited attributes associated with that object. So can we say that you are still in the development phase or are you actually doing business right now? Still in development stage. So it went from the Ellen MacArthur Foundation Holy Grail initiative, which stopped in May. Now it's transitioned to a much larger industry-led initiative. There are over 70 companies and trade organizations already involved in 2.0 and we'll be formalizing that more early in the new year. Uh, and then again, in working with industry, we'll continue to develop the standards and the protocols, uh, the database, which we won't hold, it'll be held by independent parties. So I, I, we're basically building an ecosystem. Okay, jumping back a little bit, uh, will it be possible to read at the same speed as the near-infrared uh, equipment from Tomra? Will, will those watermarks be, be read at the same speed? Yes, absolutely. So in the demonstrations we've done, and the most recent was October 22nd, we had 140 participants come from the K-Show, and they were able to see running at three meters per second. Uh, we can certainly run higher, but for right now, sort of the industry standard we've been given is likely to point at three meters per second. So we're able to do that at, at high speed now. Yeah. Uh, when do you think, I don't know, did you mention that, that this holy grail is, so to say, so to say finished? and you can actually go into business. 
Uh, I think it's really going to be probably early 2021 is really when there'll be equipment made, uh, the standards we made for molds. Uh, now, companies can actually adopt right now <clears throat> simply in their printed material or in their printed labels. This is the Happy Cow from Strata. Mm -hmm. But right now with Digimark inside, it's already pre-ready for when the recycling centers uh, have installed a module. Mm -hmm. 